got a problem. <laughs> I know I'm gonna get the call, man. I know it. Just might as well call me. I was gonna say a fortune teller. No, might as well call me a prophet. I know I'm gonna get the comment. I don't find this funny. Why do you find this? Bless you. This isn't funny. Why do you find this funny? I have to laugh or I'll cry. <laughs> Let me cope how I cope. My house is destroyed. I could sit here and I could blame it on so many things, y'all. I could blame it on the tooth infection, the tooth extraction. Might as well call it a surgery because did I tell y'all I did not know they took my wisdom teeth out till like five days post-op. Honest to God truth. I was wondering why they were sticking all these x-ray things in my mouth. It's because they took out my wisdom teeth without telling me. So that's why the recovery's been so hard. I can blame it on that. I can blame it on the makeover we just did. We just did the hallway makeover, which was a process because we had to literally take up everything and take off everything we had already done and redo it. That was our own fault. I can blame it on so many things, but you know what? I'm just gonna sit here and take accountability for it and say, yeah, you know, it's messy, but I'm saying that with a smile on my face because we're gonna get the daggone thing done today. I can't live like this no more, y'all. It's so bad. I can't even find wash rags to wash my tail with. I need to find wash rags today. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So y'all are on a stain can. You're on a mental wax wood finish penetrating stain semi-transparent red mahogany can. Look what I just found behind. I've been searching for these boogers all weekend long. <laughs> they were covered in mail, but still. All humor aside, <laughs> I gotta get it done today, y'all. I have to. So we're gonna do a whole clean with me. I'm not touching my bathrooms because I am doing a bathroom makeover later this week. We've got one more room to do before we hit the girls' room makeover, and that's the bathroom. I gotta do the bathroom first because it is in worse shape than the Holly was. And if y'all saw that video, you know that floor was in some bad shape. We are planning. Did somebody flush the toilet? Yeah. I heard the toilet lid smack down in the toilet flush. But we are planning on, we're bracing ourselves for halfing. I hate how I say halfing. It's not even a word in the dictionary, halfing. Why does that just flow more than having? We are having to. We have to half. Why does that do that? I don't know. I struggle with words on a daily basis. We're we're, we're participating. We're not participating. We're, we will be participating in the makeover. We are planning. We are bracing ourselves to have to redo that entire floor in there. All the way leading up to the tub, prayerfully not under the tub or under the vanity because that would, uh because that would be cat catastrophic. <laughs> I do that with words. Y'all do that with words where you go to say it, but, you ha but in order to say it right, you have to sound it out in your head, catastrophic. Now I say catastrophic. <laughs> that would be catastrophic. So let me show you what my house looks like. I know... Those of you who are my friends aren't gonna be worried about it. You know what? It's, you know what's about to happen. Y'all can tell me some of the stuff that we're about to find laying in my floors, my laundry room, all that stuff. And if you are worried about it, don't let me keep you up at night. Okay, just don't worry about it. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna get it done. I did just make that over right before this weekend, so it's clean though. After I get it good and clean in here, I'm gonna do my orbiting method. I'm not gonna start in my kitchen like I normally do though, because the kitchen area really isn't that bad. I don't have any dishes. Thankfully, the kids and Shane have been helping me keep up with dishes. That's one thing we've kind of implemented. When we I first started doing big makeovers and stuff, Shane and I were both doing big makeovers and the dishes situation was chaotic. So I've slowly been teaching my oldest how to do things like laundry and stuff like that so that they can kind of fill in while we're otherwise preoccupied. And so that helps with the dishes situation. Also, I'm not gonna lie, we've been eating off of old birthday plates too. Um, but main dishes have been taken care of. But like we have an abundance of, well actually not abundance anymore because we use almost all of them, of these fancy little color plates that we got for the girls birthday party. <clears throat> so we've been using those too and that's been helping with keeping the the eating dishes at bay. So I'm not going to start in here like I normally would. I'm going to start in the living room because the living room is kind of just disarrayed. I've got my entryway over here beside my my coffee table slash 
ottoman and there's still cords and power tools down there on the floor that have been there for a few days and it's just a mess i also have a whole pile of laundry here accruing because i have to get on laundry today yesterday i spent a majority of the day what well, that blind is crooked is it crooked it is i saw it in the mirror i spent a majority of yesterday it was just saturday i spent a majority of that day editing saturday night's video because because i was running behind but then i also for the rest of the day spent the day just doing laundry but i wasn't folding it and putting it away because when i tell you that if y'all think this is bad I couldn't see my laundry room floor. I couldn't see it. It was so bad. There was piles on top of piles on top of piles. So I just spent the day yesterday after editing and doing everything that I needed to do for Saturday morning. I spent the day doing laundry and then just like straighten it inside out and like folding what needs to be folded but then just piling it up like i usually do in my washer but then not taking it to its designated spot just bringing it in here because i knew there was going to be a lot of laundry i was going to do and i'm going to make my station the ottoman today i think that's the only way i'm going to really get it all done because there's so much of it so we're going to start the orbiting method that i usually do but we're going to start it in the living room and then move on to other places to wide open spaces hopefully by tonight also got some little updates i'm wanting to do if you guys remember in the last big cleaning video i did man i did a mega cleaning video i was so proud of that one like i worked my booty off it's still there but figuratively i worked my booty off in that video i set up a list of home improvements that needed to be done that I felt was diminishing my home's value to like me not because not on the market but like to me you know you look around your home and you don't see what everybody else sees you see the little imperfections I was tired of dwelling on that so in this book right here my be a blessing to others book I love this little thing I think I got it where did I get this dollar store can't remember but in this book I put down a list of things that needed improving or redone or fixed or added to or anything like that in my home so that I could be productive about it and not just sit around and think about it and stare at it all day long but to make a plan to be productive about it and slowly but surely etch those things off my list look what we etched off with the hallway makeover with the hallway makeover we etched off the redo flooring paint trim redo wainscotting a little spell wrong probably I called it Wilbur Scott and in my hallway video because that thing was generic. It was a generic Wayne Scott. <laughs> and then a uh, new door trim. We did that and some. We gave the walls a fresh repaint and we really went from the holes in the floor to the ceiling. We even added a new light fixture which was like a kind of last minute thing. I started saving up to redo all the fixtures in my house. But then I quickly realized that's really expensive. They're like $100 a light fixture. That's so expensive. Instead of that, I've just been dipping into that and getting them one by one and doing it slowly. And the only one I lack in the main living... Oh, the only two I lack in the main living area is that one and the one over here. This camera's backwards. I'm always doing circles around what I'm trying to point at. <laughs> that one right there. Those are the only two lights in the main living area that I have to finish. So that'll be slow rolling. I might get to at least this one above me in the dining area slash kitchen area when I redo this area. But we did etch off a lot on that hallway because we did it top to bottom, bottom to top. But I still want to etch off a little bit more. So I, when I started that list, I started a, an envelope. And y'all know I do my makeovers by envelope. So I save for in an envelope. Envelope. I don't keep the envelope at my house. I don't keep it in my bank account. I keep it somewhere else because if I kept it in my house, I'd probably dip in it for a Whopper. I'm not kidding. You got to learn your limits and Burger King's my limits. <laughs> but I keep envelopes nonetheless uh, to save up in and every week, every two weeks, something like that, I'll take the money and I'll divvy it up. I'll break it up into envelopes. So when I made this list a couple weeks ago, I started an envelope for the home improvements, the little things that needed to be done that are driving me crazy. So I didn't have a lot in there because I just started it about three weeks ago, but I did dip into it for what I do have in it right now. And I did get some little update things, some things that have been driving me crazy. I want to go ahead and fix in this video. So we're going to do all the things. We're going to get it all done. We're going to do the daggone thing. We're going to do some cleaning um i gotta worry about dinner tonight i don't even know what i'm doing for dinner tonight some little mobile home updates stuff like that just to clear my mind because right now i'm always chaotic my mind is always chaotic it's a very chaotic space but right now i'm feeling my space is being chaotic and i haven't felt that way in a really long time i mean mess gets on my nerves because i'm i i struggle with wanting to be a very tidy person like I, that's my goal oh i want to be that tidy person who like 
wakes up in the morning to a clean house, goes to bed with a clean house, I want to be that person. I might not ever be that person. That's not going to stop me from trying. But because my mind is so chaotic all the time, I like my space to be peaceful, especially nowadays. I've been doing really good keeping it up. That's funny because I feel like I'm on here all the time saying that my house is out of control. But it's not at the level of out of control it used to be. Just look at a few of my videos from like two years ago. <laughs> Not two years ago. I haven't been on YouTube for two years, have I? I don't know how long it's been, but uh, look, uh, a year ago, look at my videos and then come back and it's not to the degree of messy that it was back then. So that kind of gives me hope. It's still messy. It's messier than the average person's house, but it kind of gives me hope because I, I can see a little bit of the improvement sometimes and sometimes I can't see improvement at all. After we get the area cleaned, we're gonna go in and do little home touch-ups. Then mama's gonna figure out what's for dinner. Also, somebody asked me in my last video, they're like, Lord, you talk so much. Don't your jaw ever hurt? Yeah, it hurts right now, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna put on a Taylor Swift uh, playlist. Y'all know me and my dislike for Taylor Swift. I don't actually dislike her. It's a running joke from Shane having a crush on her like 15 years ago. A running joke from Shane having a crush on her 15 years ago, um, but Y'all are freaking out whenever Kim from the Watch Squad was in my live a few weeks ago. Me and Kim bonded over her love for Taylor Swift and my dislike for her. <laughs> so, in Kim's honor, I'm going to put on a Taylor Swift playlist and cling to it. I have to call Shane to get the code because I don't know the code in my own TV. <laughs> hey, sorry, I didn't hear you ringing. What's the code for the TV? Really? Yeah. Ask the emergency? Yes. That's the emergency. Yes!
Okay, so I'm still doing my rotation. Y'all, I have been sweating like crazy. How hot is it in here? It is, geez Louise. It's just 73. You would have thought it was like 100 degrees with the way I'm sweating in my dramatic self. <laughs> I usually keep my thermostat on 68 because I'm, I'm well insulated, y'all. I need it to stay cool. Especially with how much I move and stuff. I'm gonna be overcooked medium well by the time I get done doing what I need to get done if I don't have the air on 68. Been doing my rotate method just now. Got half the living room done. Not even done with the other half. Got some more loads of laundry going. I got a load of towels going now. I wash them in vinegar now. I still use my scent beads because I love my scent beads. But y'all told me not to put fabric softener on it because it makes it like, makes it not absorb water I think. So I haven't been putting fabric softener in there. I've been trying it out with the vinegar a pod and beads i haven't really noticed a different yet difference yet in absorbing i guess but i don't really pay attention whenever i'm getting out of the shower so it's probably working i just haven't been able to tell yet also the scent beads could be something to do with it but i'm not going to dab off my face after a shower and smell vinegar that smells like butt it's gotta be like downy tainted vinegar it can't be just straight up vinegar let's go ahead and orbit so we're not losing steam let's go ahead and orbit all i gotta do is i got to tidy up my dresser and then clean up behind the couch here and I'm done with the living room. So let's go ahead and knock that out of the park. Then we'll, we'll put some wax melts in the wax warmers, light a candle, get the mood going in here while we're doing this and watching TV. I don't watch TV. Y'all have been telling me I need to watch Chip and Joanna games, but I don't really know where to find them. I've, I've got streaming services. I don't have cable. I don't know what channel they come on or like what any of that. So I may look that up and try watching one of them. Shane and I only watched one or two episodes of one of their shows forever ago. But I don't want to watch like I don't I don't watch trash TV. It's not it's not entertaining to me. Uh, I don't like TV at all really. Like I'll watch it for a second but then like I'm usually just zoned out with my eyes on it while I'm thinking about something else. So um maybe I'll try watching them while we fill this laundry but let's orbit finish orbiting. Okay, I'm trying to use up all of my summer smells. So I'm trying to use this coastal coconut. But let me tell y'all something. Great value has amazing burning time. And no matter how much I'm using this sucker, it's not going nowhere. <laughs> it's a good thing because, I mean, it's money well spent. There, I've literally had this going all day, every day for I don't know how many days. And it's not, it's like half, it's a little bit below halfway used. I'm telling y'all, great value. Don't put, don't tell me no Bath and Body Works. Great value. I forget how much I spent for this, but it ain't nothing compared to a Bath and Body Works candle, even on their sale days. Don't get me wrong, though. Bath and Body Works man, candles, they do smell really good. But I'm impressed. Great value is constantly impressing me. But I'm using this Coastal Coconut because it's August. I ain't got my fall stuff out yet. I know a lot of people are. They're excited for fall. But I want to hang on to summer for just a little bit longer. So I'm trying to use up all my summer scents. And, uh, well, a lot of my summer scents because I've got a lot of summer scents. Uh, I've accumulated a lot of wax melts and candles. I'll show y'all my collection here in a minute. It's still going. <laughs> but I'm trying to use up a lot of my summer and springy kind of smells before September rolls around and I start burning apple stuff and pumpkin stuff and stuff like that. So I'm using this Coastal Coconut coconut and paired with it i'm using the scentsy aloe water and cucumber I, i've never been just like a huge fan of scentsy because i never used it uh, so i can't really say a lot about it but i used one that one of my friends gave me and it was a little mermaid one and it smelled up my entire house 
So I've been using these, and let me tell you something. Say what you want to about Scentsy. I, I know it's like a, a networking, like ML. Is that what they're called, MLM? I don't know, I don't care. If my friends sell it, I support it. If it helps them in the least bit, I, I mean, it helps them in the least bit, and it smells good, like I'm, I'm gonna support them. I had a few gifted to me. I had a cashmere one, cause it was going out of, like they were retiring it, and one of y'all sent me the cashmere one, and I fell in love with it. I love it, it's like a cozy cashmere, or something like that. And then someone else sent me the Little Mermaid one, and it smelled up my entire house. Even Shane was like, okay, that smells good. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get me some more Scentsy. So a few of you guys sent me some more, and I'm trying them out. But then I went and I bought my own. So I spent $100 on wax melts, and my shipment is supposed to be here tomorrow, so there's gonna be a ton more. And, and I got almost all summer scents, because they were on sale, because I guess they're about to bring in their fall scents. A neighbor of mine uh, lost their leg to infection. I was asking how I could help it. She wanted me to order Scentsy off of this leg, off of this party. It was called like a, a leg party or something like that. And so I ordered like a hundred dollars worth of, of wax melts. But it was for a good cause and that's how they preferred that I donate. So that's what we did. So we've got, I don't know how many wax melts coming tomorrow. <laughs> it's a lot though. But this one is aloe water and cucumber. And I thought that would smell really fresh with the coastal coconut. The coastal coconut is pretty strong in itself. The great value candles are pretty strong. So I'm gonna put this one with it and see what it smells like. Y'all know I mix my wax melts and candles and that's how I get my fart covered fruit loop smells. But sometimes you can be pleasantly surprised and it smells pleasant <laughs> when you mix them. <laughs> this is, is what my candle and wax melt cabinet is looking like not too too bad there's some room for some more but i'm i'm trying not to look at all of these clothes and we're not even done. Face it. If you mess up my pile, I'm gonna be mad at you for five minutes. I'm gonna be mad at you for five minutes. I am, because I can't be mad at you any longer than five minutes. Shane put this on. I think it's her YouTube channel. I don't know what it is, but I've been watching this. It's interesting. Her as in like Joanna Gaines. <laughs> I said her like y'all would automatically know who I was talking about.
Okay, these are all the clothes that we're getting rid of out of the kiddo's closet. I wasn't going to do a declutter or anything, but then I was trying to get their wash clothes into their their drawers and their dresser and their closet. And I was like, okay, we got to get rid of some stuff. So all this is what's going. Probably need to do the same thing to my closet, but probably won't get around to that today because I really wasn't Bye. planning on doing this. And now it's time to start dinner. What are you doing? <laughs> So I got the living room clean. I got the clothes put away. I still got to put away our hanging t-shirts. But other than that, the clothes are put away. So it's 6.30. I'm going to start on dinner. I'm starting on dinner a little bit later than we should, but a little bit earlier than normal. I think I'm going to do this Pinterest recipe I found. I'll, I'll link it down below if I can find it. I'll link the recipe down below in case you guys want to try it. It's like a pizza calzone type thing. I'll link it down below. Okay, so I think I told you guys it was a calzone. I don't know the difference, but it's not calzone. It's a stromboli. But it's supposed to be easy nonetheless, so we're going to do it tonight. All right, we got some pepperoni, pizza crust, hard salami, parmesan. Is it molded? Please don't be molded. No. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> then we got some mozzarella. We got to get butter and garlic and parsley to make a little mixy mix. You know, Italian parsley, half years butter. It's kind of hard because it's been sitting out. It's fine. Ibuprofen for the headache that cooking creates. That might be a little bit overkill. I'd like to say the vampires ain't going to be after us, but if the vampire's Edward Cullen, I mean, come at me, bro. Just kidding. We're going to pop this in the microwave and nuke it for a few minutes. Seconds, kind of. While that's being nuked, we're going to lay this out and in a rectangular sort of way. <laughs> I'm too proud of that. Kind of pat it out a little bit, but not a whole lot. Shoot! I know my neighbors are smelling this garlic like what, girl? Uh oh, I didn't let it cool off. I hope it don't cut the. I hope it don't cook the pizza dough prematurely. I forgot the, one of the main ingredients. You're also gonna need some marinara or some meat pasta, whatever kind of pasta sauce you like. Just don't go get none of that nasty, mushroomy kind of stuff because your husband's going to tell you he likes it, but he don't. I'm going to eat leftovers. I'm not going to eat this. Otherwise, I would cook two of these. But since but since we're all not eating this, one of, which, one of them should do. Probably going to pair it with some like fruit. Kind of going to be like a lunchy dinner because we're good at that over here. Shredded mozzarella. Get your giant pepperonis, AKA S-A-L-A-M-I. Cameron's over looking at me, so we got, we, we can't, we can't say. <laughs> Do another little sprinkle of this, then add the regular pepperonis. Roll it up like a fruit roll up. Kind of like I fold my kids' shirts. <laughs> I'm gonna roll it up like that. We're gonna tuck it in like I took my gut into a girdle. We're gonna add the rest of this on the top. That looks good. I forgot the egg wash. Kind of like, you're gonna wash an egg. I'm gonna wash an egg. What are you doing, Dater? I'm doing it. Okay, have an egg. I'm just gonna plop it in here with the rest of this. Beat it up real good. And then, there we go. That looks better. I'm gonna poke a few holes in the dough, like so. Oh, look at that! It looks like the French bread from Aladdin. <laughs> cool. Okay, we're gonna bake this on 375 for 25 to 30 minutes. All that's cooking, and the kiddos are gonna play outside, so I'm gonna sit out there and watch them. And guys, I can't wait to show you Henry. Oh my gosh! So you know how I was worried about Henry, right? Because like my maters, they've been what is it doing? My maters has been they've been growing, but they're kind of like stunted. But wait, he's getting some color to him. I'm so excited. He's kind of still little. Yes. But these, look at these over here. Like, okay. Yes. All right, Farmer Marina. Look at that, that one. I was going to be a cherry mater, watch. My cucumbers, however. Dun, 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 dun. You hear it? What happened? They were doing so good. And then, but they still got blooms on them. But I don't think, see. But I don't think they're gonna be living. I don't. I don't think so. I, like y'all said, I think they were just too shallow. It's okay though. I'm learning. That means I'll have no, more knowledge for next year. Next year, let me tell y'all something. I'm gonna be out here being a gardener. I, this is my first time ever growing anything, so I'm proud. Even if I, all I get is this out of it. Even if all I got was this one out of it, I'd be proud. But um, next year, I'll know what to do a little bit better. 
you guys are really helpful too so next year when we get into the territory of like planting and gardening and stuff i won't be asking y'all all the questions i'm like googling i'm gonna be taking notes i may even do like a little notebook and then take notes on how to like grow stuff and stuff and i'm wanting to do some stand-up planters like around the porch hopefully by then maybe around that time the porch will be extended so i'll have more area to put more gardens it's a little bit hard gardening in the trailer part but we're gonna make it happen we're gonna do the daggone thing the babies the babies one, two, three. okay let's go let's get one okay which one <laughs> which one you want that one or you want this one no you want this one you want this one all right let's do it they want these cam you want to help me i'll give it to banks Yeah, girl. wait and let it sit for a few minutes before we cut it but then you're supposed to cut it like a pinwheel it's basically a pizza pumpkin roll i'm gonna have some leftover lasagna from fazoli's they made this look so easy on pinterest all right let's see <gasps> oh snap okay but did we do it okay this is pretty cool not gonna lie it's like a it's like a giant pizza roll we're going to be mom of the year and we're going to add a gogurt and some fruit and call it dinner. Thank you for coming to my pretend cooking show. I wanted to taste test this for you guys to tell you what I think about it and it is so good. And it was so fast too so it's a win. I'll definitely be making these again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> pretty baby. I get asked a lot what kind of dog Tater is. I don't know honestly. I mean... I know she has wiener dog in her, but she obviously has something else mixed in with her. Banks is from a breeder, but we rescued Tater. Tater is a Craigslist, what they call a Craigslist mutt. They were going to take her to the pound, and I couldn't be having that. It's almost her first birthday with us. We celebrate birthdays however long they've been with us, which we've had both Binks and Tater since they were... Tater since she was six weeks. The vet thinks she was four weeks when we actually got her because she couldn't eat hard food or nothing. Do y'all remember that wormy mess? <laughs> Binks came from a very reputable breeder. Like, he's got great bloodlines and everything, but it doesn't matter. I mean, I would love him even if his, he was part dinosaur. But we've had him since he was eight weeks and Tater since she was four to six weeks. Tater, we don't, we don't know much about other than the fact that she was very wormy when we got her. <laughs> And full of fleas. The little thing was ate up with fleas. But I'm thinking, a lot of y'all say she looks like she has a men, men pen in her, and she does. Um, I'm thinking she's a Chewini, though. I think she has more Dotson in her than she does Chihuahua, just because her temperament is also kind of like a Chihuahua. Binks is very docile. Binks is very patient. He's loving. He's quiet. Tater's the polar opposite. Like, she's. Uh, Compared to Bink, she's vicious and she's impatient. <laughs> she's also a puppy though. She's wild, but she's precious too. Like she is so loving. She wants to be up on you when she wants to be up on you and away from you when she wants to be away from you. She's her own kind of personality kind of thing. But she also has no tail and I don't know why I didn't have it docked. Um, I think that they mentioned her having a crick in her tail. I don't know if that causes tails to be docked or what. That's all the history I know about Little Tater. All right, so. We got the living room cleaned up. It's completely cleaned up, except for the socks that just randomly ended up here because Taylor likes to put his socks and people just put it up here to keep them the socks safe instead of putting them in the sock drawer. I'm not looking at my kids if you're wondering who I'm looking at. So since the living room's cleaned up, we're gonna do some little updates to it. First update that was on my list was new vents. Because mine look like you're seconds from getting tetanus if you step on them. And then this one over here is actually a ceiling vent. <laughs> Do y'all remember that? I about just got the cheapest white vents that I could find. But I was like, you know what? I don't want them ever <laughs> looking like that over there again. So we're going to invest in some nice vent covers that will last us hopefully a while. So we went with the fancy 
Alan and Roth ones and I got black because I thought that might be a nice contrast because I have a lot of black accent colors in my house. These are cast iron so they're heavy duty and I hope that they'll last a while. I usually like Allen and Ross products from Lowe's, so. So I'm gonna put these boogers in and I'm gonna see what they look like. I thought cast iron was cookware. Hot twist, you can fry eggs on them. Ooh, they feel like the cast iron. Skillets? Mm -hmm. I mean, I've never felt them one because I've never owned one, but I can imagine that's how they feel. Oh, we had one before. No, I ain't ever owned anything cast iron. Let's get this old one out. <gasps> Look how stinking pretty! Look at this. <laughs> okay, I love it. I never gave much thought to vent covers, but I say that's that's a nice vent cover. Okay, so living room, floor vents. All right, flooring. This is the piece of flooring that we need to fix. Voila! Rockstar Shane did it. When we all just want to be. Awesome like creators. Dang gravy. <laughs> Flooring's done. All these things, look at the sweat, y'all. All these things have been driving me crazy, but it takes no time to fix, especially on a weekend. Y'all have been asking for a what I eat in a day on Weight Watchers, and I'm definitely gonna have to do one because I've been kind of falling off the wagon. I've still been like logging my stuff, but it's so easy to go over your points because like where I lost a little bit of weight, I gotta do a weigh-in. I'll do that this week. I'll do a weigh-in and a what I eat in a day on Weight Watchers. It's nothing special. Don't get like excited. <laughs> it's just what I eat in a day on Weight Watchers. It'll kind of be like a day full of meals kind of thing. A day in the life with a bunch of meal motivation. Next up, we're gonna caulk this area right here just to clean it up some. That looks a heck of a lot cleaner and Tater's wondering what you did. <laughs> so you guys see these seams here? They've been bothering me for a while cause like it's gaps like in the corner cuts. It's just inevitable because you know, corner cuts <laughs> and us. But, but the gaps have been bothering me. So, so he caulked them and it looks so much better. Look at that. Got the caulk done. Now on to getting the kitchen and dining room and lunch room just tidied up. I'm gonna throw another load in the wash and then I'll be done for the night. I also gotta show you guys the snack situation because we've been doing really good since our Sam stock up. We usually would have eaten through the thing within like two weeks, but it's been a few weeks and we haven't eaten even half of the stuff and we still have stuff in the closet. So doing pretty good with that. I'll show you guys that in a minute, but first we gotta get tidied up in here because it's getting late. I I'm doing another load of laundry. I got this folded up. I need to put it away. I'm um, gonna put that away, do another laundry, and then sort this. Definitely not finishing the laundry today, but getting it capped off, which is all that I'm, I'm worried about anyway. I long lost, long gone has the days been, have the days been when I thought I was going to not have any laundry. <laughs> I thought I was going to see the bottom of my hamper. Those are long gone. But I just don't want Mount Everest on top of my hamper and I'll be good. I'm gonna get this load of towels drying. Then probably just do a random chaotic load. Or should I sort it? You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and sort it. Might as well. Cause I gotta take all these clothes out anyway to sort them into the hamper. So I might, might as well load a sorted load. Dude, it's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny. What? I'm gonna do a big sorted load. So we're gonna at least sort below, but we are gonna do a larger load to try to get as much laundry done. It's not ideal. Yeah. It's tracking my face. That's so. It ain't tracking you. Um, it's just tracking mine. I don't like doing large loads, but I feel like I have to whenever my laundry gets this out of hand. But I try not to do mega loads like I used to.
Okay, it's been two weeks, just a little bit over two weeks since we've been, since we went to Sam's Club. So we're halfway through the month, and this is what we have left. <laughs> Those have been hit a little hard. <laughs> but look at this, and they enjoy that popcorn, but we haven't been snacking on it because we have the other flavor popcorn. But as far as moon pies, y'all remember this thing was full, but look, y'all ain't getting a moon pie, forget it. Cereal bars, they like those too, but we still have that many left. You can tell this is taking a hit too, but we still have quite a bit left. And then we have some the extra in the closet. This is what's left of the peanut butter crackers. This is what was the chocolate donuts, so they're all gone. <laughs> so we just added some extra chips in here. There's only two things left of the powdered donuts. Uh, there's been a few bags taken out of this and then we replaced them with extra from the closet. Same over here. So got some chips left and we haven't even dipped into the ones from the closet yet. You can tell Doritos have been kind of taking a hit. But this one still has plenty in it too. Who are we? It's because Mama's on Weight Watchers. <laughs> Mama, ain't, Mama ain't digging into all that. <laughs> No, but seriously, the kids and Shane have done so good at moderating themselves and not just like slamming into it. Because uh, y'all know the last time we did the snacks, we had them eating within a week and a half. To have that much left halfway through the month. Dying gravy. <laughs> Dying gravy. Oh, I have to show you guys a haul I've been hoarding for forever because I haven't even opened anything because I wanted to show you guys. I think it was Ollie's and something from Ross. So this is what I got from Ollie's and that's what I got from Ross. But first, Ollie's. Had to get a hole puncher because I cannot find my hole pun puncher anywhere. And I only had the single one anyway, so I went ahead and got a three hole puncher. I think I got this for $5.99. It's not like a better deal in the store. <laughs> We've got some cookout recipes to add to my cookbooks that I keep like down there. No, like actual cookout recipes. Uh... I got this for $7.99. That also sounds like a better deal inside of the store. <laughs> I got these for some prep for whenever I do like meal videos, like you know, dinner videos, recipe videos, stuff like that. It's easier to have all my ingredients out. I should have used these today <laughs> when I had all those ingredients going on with the calzone stromboli sketty stuff. Hey, I that was good. Did you like it? Mm -hmm. Shane liked that stuff. I'm gonna definitely make those again. But um, I got that. For, I got these for that because it just makes my life easier to have everything there and ready. It is extra dishes to wash, though. I didn't think of that. But five ninety nine also sounds like a better deal in the store. I'm convinced Ollie's and Ross put out this perfume that makes you think everything is a deal. <laughs> then I got these pink measuring cups to match that. Look how cute. No, nobody can't say I ain't got no color in my home now. <laughs> it's in the cupboard, but it's in the home. And then one of my kiddos saw this and they were like, "Mama, we want these." So, I picked it up for $2.99. Although, this is the Mandela Effect. I don't know if you're my age or not, but back when we had the book fair, it was Berenstain. Not Berenstain. I think Nanny's calling me. Is she? Yellow? Hey, Shane. Hey, Nanny. Okay. Shane's driving Nanny crazy tonight. <laughs> Uh, but this was Berenstein Bears. I don't care. Nobody can tell me any different. If y'all haven't ever looked up the Mandela Effect, you totally should not because it will make you it'll make you worry about your sanity. Those are measuring cups. Mine, will you leave? Okay, Shane got this magnet <laughs> toy at Lowe's and he won't quit messing with it. Go put it up. I'm always then, uh, <laughs> what? I'm not listening. They are. Okay. Listen, guys. I got. <laughs> I, got I felt yeah. these. Well, actually, the kiddos felt these for the dog. What is that one supposed to be? Oh! <laughs> Wait, what is this? These, listen, shh. Listen, this one is one ninety nine. Now that's a good deal. And then this one was one ninety nine <laughs> or one twenty nine, something, one something. Those were good deals. And to pair with that, I found this at Ross, and it's a little harness because Tater was outgrowing her old one. It's a little harness from Ross. I can't remember how much I paid for it because it don't have the tag on it now, but it was like five bucks or something. How but much it has. You pay for it? It has little eye screens on it. Look, it matches. Y'all want your toys? Huh? Wait. Wait. What I got? What I got? What I got? Okay. Okay. Or just, just go at it. <laughs> All right. There you go. All right. Take it on. <laughs> Why do we have a yard stick laying in the in the living room, Shane? After I just cleaned. 
Hey, who is he? Who is he? Kitty! Kitty! It'll be, they'll be tore up and the squeaker will be broken in like a day. Won't they? <laughs> oh, she wants yours, Minx. Oh, we're trading. Oh, they're sharing! Maybe because it wanted to be there. No, I don't want to be there. Got the hamper sorted. These countertops are going to have to be redone ASAP. Because the Hershey Squirt Brown just ain't doing it for me anymore. <laughs> It was never doing it for me. I met one of y'all out in public one day and they said, I love your makeovers. I gotta ask so what was with the cho the milk chocolate brown countertop? I was like, I don't know. I told y'all I ain't playing when I said I got my inspiration from Shoney's. So I have something in particular I really want to do with my island. I'm leaving my island the way that it is as far as like the way that the L shape and the brick and the wood and all that but it's hard for me to say without telling you all exactly how I want it and I would tell you guys exactly how I want it if I knew 100% but it's hard to get it into words I had to draw Shane a diagram because that's what we always do before we start makeover I draw him a stick figure diagram <laughs> saying exactly what I want how I want it and he kind of makes it happen like he puts it in real time and it's like hey Marin, if you want this then we got to do this because if it was up to me I mean I would have like a floating island or something like that like I think that's realistic for some reason in my mind what? so Shane brings the real in and he's like okay this we, if we're going to do this, we have to do it this way. We have to add this kind of support. We got to make sure it does this, all that stuff. So I would, I would tell y'all if I knew exactly how we were going to work it out. But I will say, I'm probably the most excited I've ever been about a makeover. And I know I've said that before, but I, I really am. Have I not been talking about it nonstop? What? The island and dining room area. Yeah. Nonstop, and that's not like me. Like I usually. Well, if I think about it, I'll jump on it right then, or I'll think about it, and it'll just kind of edge off, and then we'll move on into it slowly. This thing, like, I I cannot stop thinking about my dining room and my bar area. So, well, in line, we got <laughs> their toys. We got the kids' bathroom, because obviously that floor has to get tackled before we do anything else. We finally have all the stuff that came in the mail. We picked up... <laughs> We picked up all the stuff for the girls' bedroom, so then that will be right after the small bathroom makeover. Um, by the way, we're going in and doing a makeover on the bathroom, too. We're not just replacing the floor. We're doing a makeover because the kiddos have asked for it to have a little bit more color and to be brighter. I like the woodsy theme in there, but I should have took into consideration it was their bathroom and, like, they would probably want a more versatile bathroom kind of thing. So I'm going to go in and do that for them, add a little bit more color and stuff. So it's going to be an actual makeover, not just like replacing the floors kind of thing. And then after that, shortly after that, will be the girls' bedroom. And then after the girls' bedroom, I really want to do the bar and the dining room before I do the laundry room. It just depends. I may go ahead and do the laundry room. Um, I think actually my dad is needing a washer, so I'll probably rehome my washer if he hasn't got one yet. And, and do that sooner than, I forgot about that, do that sooner than the island and the dining room. Not much longer with the Hershey Squirt Brown countertops. Thank you. I have gotten a couple questions as to why I haven't done the girls' bedroom. I've got a couple of comments that were like, you've redone every area in your home except for the girls. Why are you doing that? Oh, they didn't want it redone until a little bit ago. And I'm not going to just go in and redo their room without them wanting anything done. I waited for them to tell me what they wanted done and then I kind of had to take time to make it happen. Their minds changed so I was waiting on them to be set on something. That's how it goes with my kids. I will not just bust into their area and say makeover time. I won't touch it until they tell me to. So that's why their room hasn't been remade over. They loved the purple for the longest time. They loved those pink bump beds for the longest time. They were happy with their room. I wasn't going to go in and mess up something they were happy with. I think that's where they saw Colton and Cammie's bedroom and how it 
was transformed I think after that they were kind of like okay mom we really want this done like we're not playing around anymore like this is what we want I will not ever make over a room in my house just to make it over just for content like if I'm gonna make over an area in my house that I had to look at 24 7 I'm always here so if I'm gonna make over a space in my home my safe space it's gonna be something that I actually want not just for content not just cuz I'm bored <laughs> but now they have figured out they do want to make over and they know what they want and we have everything for it I got the softest rug on the planet at Ollie's for a really good price and I'm so excited. I showed Instagram a little bit of it but I didn't show them what color I got or anything but I'm so excited to see that in there. We got new furniture. Shane's doing custom stuff in there so I'm so excited about it. Er. Yeah be, pre be, be prepared. prepared. Lion King soundtrack number four. <laughs> Got my water in my mug. We got the daggone thing done. Woo! And got some little updates. I took my rug up in the hallway for, for a little bit because Taylor looked like she was trying to show it some love. <laughs> but we got the daggone thing done. We etched some stuff off of our mobile home to-do list. We did it. And it's just before midnight, but we did it. Well, I gotta get in bed because morning comes early, but I love you guys. Thank y'all for always hanging out with me, for motivating me, for encouraging me. I hope you guys have a blessed morning, even tonight, whatever it is, wherever you're at. Know that I love you, but Jesus loves you more. I'll see y'all later.